Hi guys, this is Roshni from Roshni Hair and Makeup and today's tutorial is on the one and only Kareena Kapoor. Bollywood is a huge influence. It plays a huge and prominent part in our society, in our Eastern society, as well as the Western. A lot of the Bollywood actresses, they're showcased in a lot of the social media, so people generally and women in general will take to that and they will use them as icons to follow. The Kareena's look in this movie is a very simple girl next door, clean iridescent skin, but a play on the eyes and lips. We've gone for very powerful, smoldery eyes, lots and lots of use of bold and dark colors. Um, not overly defined, but definitely there with um, some character. Lots of heavy lashes and um, a very clean, iridescent, natural, fresh, dewy skin. Whilst her hair is a little bit more intricate, we've got a play of plaits, texture. Every look requires preparing the skin, the canvas of the painting. For Lizzie's skin, I have used Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. This is ideal for multiple signs of eye aging, dullness, puffiness and dark circles. Coupled with this, I've used Enlightened Dark Spot Correcting Night Serum. This reduces the look of dullness and uneven skin tone. By night, this intensive serum begins to reduce the look of dark spots, sunspots, post blemish marks and redness. It is so common and it addresses one of the most key concerns with South Asian women. Finally, the skin is prepared with Enlightened Moisturizer. This is used to soften, smooth and brighten the look of uneven skin tone. Guys, now that we have prepped and primed this skin, it's time to move on to the foundation. For this, we're gonna be using a double wear range. I absolutely love this. Number one, it comes in 31 shades. It's great because I know that there's gonna be a shade out there for you. And secondly, with the movie, the look is very fresh, very clean, but flawless at the same time. So the skin is nice and ready and the foundation will just glide on. The great thing about the double wear is it has the longevity. You know that you're going to be able to wear this at the beginning of the day and it'll last for at least 15 hours and you're going to look absolutely flawless. Having used the primer underneath as well, you still get a very fresh and dewy look. So it's not looking too matte. I'm going to move on to the concealer just to cover up areas under the eyes or anything around the nose or any dark pigmentation that she may have. Again, this has got a variety of different shades. I am going to go for a shade slightly lighter than the foundation. The reason why I'm going to do this is it's just going to allow me that area on her face where I can really make the eyes and just this eye area sort of pop out and um, sporting the look that we are going for with Bajrangi Bhaijan and uh, Karina Kapoor. What I absolutely love about the double wear concealer is its fluidity. It gets into all of the fine lines, yet the consistency of it, although being so creamy, it actually, it's got really good pigmentation. So a little bit of it goes a very long way and you can actually see the difference between the left eye and the right. If you've got any puffing or sort of the dark circles, what I would suggest and recommend is going for a slightly darker concealer and then use the lighter one on top. With this look in particular, I think the ros rosy cheeks, a blush look is so important. For this, we're going to be using the Estee Lauder Pure Blush. It's a powder finish, which actually works very well. So you've got the skin that looks very iridescent and glowy, and then you've got the cheeks that look blushed and almost a flushed look. So I'm just gonna apply a small amount using a powder brush. So for her eyes, we'll be using the Pure Color Eyeshadow Palette. It comes in five. This one in particular, I wanted to use because it has an emphasis of the color range, which is very earthy, very matte, um, lots of browns and greys, mauves and pinks, but also because it is predominantly matte and I don't necessarily want to use anything that's too shiny or shimmery. I'm gonna start with the lighter shade of the eyeshadow and working it into the brow bone. Great thing with this is, because it's so matte, it actually doesn't even look like she's any wearing any makeup at all. And go into the greys and the pinks. I'm gonna mix them together. These colors blend very easily, but always remember, start off with less, you can always build more. 
I'm going to take the greys and the pinks and work them into the socket, inner socket of the eye, keeping it within the socket of the eye, so I'm not going too high into the brow bone. And the darkest colour, which is like almost a chocolate brown ashy colour, just here I'm going to blend in a little bit of the pink so that I'm diffusing that flagship line that was happening. Just going to take a little bit of the dark chocolate brown within the eyeshadow palette using a pointed eyeshadow brush. We'll run this just along the bottom lash line as close to the lashes as possible and running it as close to the lash line as possible. And it starts to give the eye a 3D and like a three dimensional effect. The eye line is a huge part of what this look actually stands for. We're going to go for more of a subtle but smouldery look. I'm going to use the Stay in Place eyeliner in Onyx. Applying a little bit of this using an eyeliner brush as close to her eyelashes as possible. I'm going to fill in any gaps between the lashes and the top of her eye. And actually take it as close to the inner part of her eye as possible and bring it back down into the inner corners and I'm working my way right into her waterline. I'm going to go back in there with a little bit of the chocolate from the eyeshadow palette and just go across the top of the eyeliner and smudge the eyeliner so that it doesn't look so stark and harsh. And softening it so that you have a real synergy between the eyeshadow, the eyeliner and her lashes. Whilst the eyeliner is wet I want to blend it through using the chocolate from my eyeshadow palette just to really smudge it through and soften it. So although it's quite a bold statement on her face, it's not too harsh, it's not an, like, it's not an Arabic eye. It is a very smudgy, smouldery, almost like you've had it since morning. Um, sort of a worn, a worn look. I've actually prepped her eyelashes with a little black primer and allowed it to set. This will actually enhance her eyelashes, moisturize them, and give her the lift that she needs before I put the sumptuous eyelash uh, mascara on. When putting mascara on, I think it's really important, especially for this look, um, that the eyelashes are separated and they don't look too clogged up. The wand on here is brilliant because the bristles are quite dense, so they work directly into the lashes. Take it in a zigzag motion, and making sure that as you're working into the lashes, you're separating them individually. The primer really helps because it allows the lashes to be coated and they look thicker. Her eyes are now complete. No look is complete without the eyebrows. The eyebrows are crucial, the pivotal point of framing her face. So for this I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Automatic Brow Pencil. It's cool because it comes with the actual pencil on one end and you've got the brush on the other. For this particular look we need to have a very au naturel eyebrow, so nothing too dramatic. I mean Karina has very beautiful thick brows anyway, and as does Lizzie, but all I'm going to do is just fill in the gaps and make sure that the eyebrows look full and natural, nothing too square or harsh. Complete the look now, we're going to work on her lips. Karina is known for her nude lips and very big and bold eyes. So we're going to complement and celebrate that using the Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Liner, which I'm going to use right across her lips in nude. I do like to fill the lips in the pencil because A, I've got the coverage right across and I have the longevity when I put the lipstick on. Now that her lips are lined, we're going to complete the look adding some hydration and moisture into her lips using the Pure Envy Desirable Lip Stick, using a lip brush. Her look is now complete. Lizzie is ready and new Karina Kapoor in the making. 
we're going to move on to the hair. I have washed her hair with Bumble and Bumble and I've prepped it using the tonic lotion. That gives her hair a little bit more texture, it's very nourishing, it's detangling and her hair is now ready to start working. So whilst her hair was wet, I used a thickening hairspray. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a thickening product. It adds lots of volume and lots of texture in the hair, which is great to create those very intricate braids. This product is a icon backstage, so it's a must. Um, so her hair is now ready and prepped and primed, ready for the, the hairstyle. So I've put in her hair, beautiful middle parting. It's a very symmetrical look. And before I start working into a style, I'm going to be using the press powder from Bumble and Bumble. This will add that texture that I need to make sure that I have the hold. Her hair is very soft and silky and I still need it to retain that shine and that very easy hair. But I also need to make sure that the hair doesn't fall out. So the powder works to create texture into the hair. And creates that volume. So I'm just using it very softly right into the roots. So using a small section of hair, create a, a twist. So the product that I've used has actually enabled me to create that grip in her hair. So I know that the hairstyle will last. I don't have to overly work it. Just gripping the twists and making sure that they're nicely secure and framing the front of her face. After pinning the hair for the twist at the front, I'm now going to create a small plait. The Preta powder has been amazing to enable this texture to grow in her hair, making sure that it, although it's very manageable, I know that the hairstyle will have the longevity that I need it to have. I'll just hold that plait in place. Bumble and Bumble actually are renowned for their braiding and the work that they do, the phenomenal work that they do backstage with a lot of their products. They offer a braiding service. And the fact that her hair is just freshly washed but it's been worked in with the products, have, they've been more manageable and there's a lot more flexibility in her hair. Again, with this look, I'm going to be using the Bumble and Bumble hairspray. Sort of just tidy away any of the flyaways. I'm now working into the back of the hair. I've run a little bit of thickening contour cream. Just make sure that the hair is still as volumized. The great thing about the contouring cream is it's a great finisher. It gives the hair beautiful texture and shine which is really important for this hairdo. For this particular hairdo, I'm going to create a very tight three-part plait. Depending on the thickness of your hair, the texture of your hair, you can actually go with four plaits, maybe five, six, or even looking at something like a fish braid. To tie up the braid at the end, brush the ends through to make sure that there aren't any tangles. The products that we used earlier, specifically the tonic, will ensure that tangles in the hair are much easily managed. I'll now finish the hair using the BB Demode hairspray. Spraying this across any flyaways. Now that the hair is done, I'm just gonna finish off to make sure that I add some sheen and gloss to the hair using the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Contour Cream giving the hair lots of texture, but giving it a shine so that it looks really healthy. Running it right through to the tips. The Karina Kapoor look, sported in Bajrangi Bhaijan, is now complete. <laughs>